here, sweetie? How are you doing? Yeah, does your head hurt? Probably because of what I put in your coffee, but we won't worry about that right now. You see, I know you're probably wondering where you are, but that's not important right now, sweetie, I promise. I've brought you here so we could get to know each other a little bit better. Wouldn't that be nice? Isn't that what you've always wanted? Was to get to know me a little more? I mean, you sure seem to act that way. I've seen the way you look at me when you come in the office. I've seen the way you talk to me. It's okay, sweetie. So what better way for us to get to know each other than a little one-on-one -on -one time? No. Unfortunately, I can't really tell you where you are, lest you, you know, <laughs> run away and tell someone, but you wouldn't do that to me, right? No, 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 no. So. All I ask of you is to give me some information so that I can run a few experiments on you. I know coming across test subjects these days is much harder than it used to be, but I have you here and I need things done. So. Are you afraid of needles? Almost everything I have can be, well, it's mostly needles, but I have a few that you can drink that you might like. So don't be afraid. Don't stress yourself out. Everything's going to be fine. I promise. <laughs> I'm a doctor, aren't I? So let's, let's just grab something for you to drink first. Okay. Go on. Drink up. Drink, drink. Come on. Oh, come on. You don't play hard to get. This won't do anything. If anything, you'll just feel calm and relaxed. Okay? So just drink up. Up, up. Drink, drink. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. Okay, now, I am just going to ask you a few questions, okay? And you just have to answer them honestly. So, first things first, what is your blood type? You don't know. Okay, um... I can do a blood test myself. Don't worry. We'll take a blood test and we'll get your blood type. Question two. How old are you? This is very important for, you know, making sure I don't, you know, can't be kicking the bucket on any old people. That'd just be, that'd just be wrong. I'm very sorry. I really should have brought a list down here of questions to read off to you. But I can't help it. I don't really think I had that far. This is as far as I made it. So let's see. What's another good question? Have you ever had car insurance? Hmm. Have you ever had a car? Hmm. What do you mean, how is that important? Of course it's important to know. Some people. 
Unbelievable. Have you ever fought in combat? No? Okay. Well. That one doesn't really matter. I just need to know in case you get free. Do you have any better questions? I'm sorry. Am I boring you? Do you have something better that I should be asking? I should be asking about history of diseases in your family. Why? Why would I need to do that? You must think I'm the crazy one. Come on. Enough chit chat, you're getting a needle. Uh, you don't like needles? Well, just close your eyes, don't look. Just, just stop moving. Come on. Stop moving, or it's, I'm never gonna get it done. Big baby. There, you're all done. What? Oh, now you're mad at me. I was kind enough to go out on a date with you, and I was kind enough to let you into my home. Even if it was unwillingly. But that's not important right now. I think you should be a little nicer to the person who has you all tied up. Don't you think? Good. Glad we're on the same page. So, let's see. It looks like the shot is taking a mild effect. Normally patient's skin turn green, but I suppose blue works too. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite a good look on you. I know blue isn't very traditional, but it suits you. To be fair, a lot of things suit you. Yeah, you're quite attractive. That's why you're here. Because you're a perfect test subject for the things that I need to do. So. What, you don't think I'm a real doctor? Well, what would make you say that? I'm clearly a real doctor. They wouldn't call me the fuzzy doctor for nothing. You think that name's made up? You don't think it's real? Well, then maybe I should introduce myself properly. Dr. Ebony Rose, PhD. You're not going to shake my hand? You are tied up. I forgot about that part. I'll just kind of nod your chin. Yeah, 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 there you go. Okay. Okay, good. We're on the same page. Mm. Well, now it looks like all of you is blue. So... Maybe I should move on to some tests? Has your vision changed at all? I want you to just wash my hand. I want you to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, okay? So you can still count. That's good. You can count, you can see. So nothing's going too wrong yet. You're just blue now. Hmm. You seem to be misunderstanding me a lot. And whether that's from you just having a big old empty head, or maybe your hearing is being affected. So maybe we should check your hearing. 
okay? So what I want you to do is just tell me what word I'm whispering into your ear, okay? So your hearing is fine. So did I just make your skin blue? Like, isn't that all that did? Damn. I really thought that was a shoe in on the cure for cancer too. Damn it. I have one more, to I have one more experiment to try. Okay, now this one is another drink, okay? So just relax, keep being blue, and let me, let me give you something to drink, okay? Head back, head back, I said head back. Good, 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 okay. This one's the grand finale. It is, I promise. It won't happen yet. But I've either just made you a werewolf or you're going to have a heart attack in 24 hours. Either way, pretty cool, huh? So, how do you feel? So it's not that bad, right? Right? It can't be. It couldn't have been that bad. Maybe I think you need to spend some more time down here to get accustomed to the changes. Maybe you'll come to appreciate what I've done for you. Okay, so, I'll just leave. Oh, oh, you don't want me to leave yet? I knew you'd come around. What do you want from me? Whatever. What I do for you? Untie you. That's not gonna happen, sweetie. I'm sorry, I just can't. Well, I can't untie you, but I guess we can sit and talk for a bit. Is that what you want? You want to chat for a little bit? You also want to keep you company? I can do that. I can keep you company. I mean, it's kind of part of my job, isn't it? So, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about why do I look different? I don't, I don't know what you mean. I look exactly the same as I did last time. Ah. I got a haircut. Yep, just trimmed it a little bit. That's all that's different. Everything is exactly the same. I promise. Now what about you? I swear, every time I see you, you look just a little bit angrier at me. That's just because I've locked you up? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'd be pretty upset too if I got tied up somewhere I didn't know. But I'm not you. I'm me, so, oh well. How about I ask you a few more questions? I'm not gonna write them down because you know what? My brain is huge. I'll remember everything. 
I really will. You don't have to believe that. I don't believe that either. So, what's your favorite color? Not blue. I thought maybe it'd be blue. Maybe it was a maybe that color change was a reaction to what your favorite is or something. But clearly, <laughs> there's no correlation. So, hmm. Have you ever had a heart attack before? No. Okay. Well, I have some good news and bad news. And the good news is that I don't think you're having a heart attack. I think I succeeded in making a werewolf. The LOIs are a giveaway. The bad news, however, is you're a werewolf. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah, fleas will be a problem, but you'll get used to it. I promise. I should really get going now. I left the oven on. I was going to make us dinner, but since you've been so unwilling and uncooperative, now I'll still bring you dinner. I can't be that mean. It's my favorite. Steak. Yeah, I put it in the oven. Why was wrong with that? Hmm. To each their own, they're at, I guess. Grill. A, gr a grill. Never heard of it before. Anyway, you just get some rest and I'll bring you some food, okay? Alright, take care, sweetie. Don't go nowhere, alright? Be good for me. Mm. Toodaloo.